Many times when dealing with knee pain, practitioners will tell you to lighten the load or remove the load that is causing knee pain. So for example, if you're squatting with a barbell, they tell you to go lighter or actually squat just body weight so that the knee can recover. This is insufficient many times because load is only one variable that is causing this knee to be overloaded. You got to look at the structures above and below the knee that can be contributing to the knee pain. So here, I have a foot model. If your foot lacks ankle dorsiflexion, which means the tibia cannot translate over the foot, which means the tibia cannot internally rotate. And when it comes out of dorsiflexion, it has to externally rotate. If this movement is missing, guess where the body picks up the slack? You guessed it right, the knee. Next, next. Let's look at the hip. So if our hip is lacking internal and external rotation, guess what happens? Your femur cannot internally rotate or externally rotate when our knee bends and straighten. Again, our poor knees will pick up the slack in this case. So let's put it all together. Now, when your knee bends and straightens, there are a lot of rotations going on in the body, right? From the hip all the way down to your ankle. So any, if anything is missing down the chain, then usually it's the knee that is picking up the extra slack. So then, when you're doing your knee rehab, are you only looking at load? I probably will only look at load after I address the ro missing rotations. 